Hey, 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 YouTube. Good afternoon. So this particular video is about Pisces and Gemini compatibility. Pisces woman, Gemini man. So what the Pisces woman and Gemini man have in common is that they're both mutable signs. So they would have an understanding about having a little bit of freedom in the relationship, a little bit of um, space and some friendship. It's a very good combination uh, with friendship. Um, I have such great Gemini friends. My daughter's a Gemini. My brother's a Gemini. And um, I have some other friends that are Geminis. And they understand um, the creative side of me, the uh, extroverted side of me. Um, so Geminis will, men will understand that side of a Pisces woman and they will love that a Pisces woman is into the arts and music and creativity because Geminis are also very creative and into the arts and music as well. So that they get along on um, that end. They can talk about it for days. They can sing together, uh, dance together, go to, um, festivals, anything music plays. It's a really good um, relationship when it uh, can be fun, very fun. Um, what the Gemini man might get frustrated with the Pisces woman is she tends to be um, a little bit more emotional than he can handle. And um, since she's a water sign and she's mutable, it can fluctuate up and down and that can um, be a challenge for a Gemini man. Um, and for the Pisces woman with a Gemini, they feel like they don't understand their sensitivity and their emotions well, and they're not patient enough with them. So arguments can come into play. But other than that, um, when they are together, they have so much fun. And like I said, there's an understanding because they're mutable signs. And they're very creative signs and they can come together as um, good friends, best friends and stuff. And the thing with Gemini men, um, they're a little flirtatious, just a little bit. I'm not going to say all of them, but they, they like, they're very big extroverts. And I think that's why um, they have so many relationships and so many changes because they change like a Pisces because they're mutable, but their change is... Um, different it's physical and it's different um i would say it's different on the outside with uh, pisces they change personalities like they change in the inside they're the chameleons and they change inside as well as outside and i feel like gemini's change physically and then they can change their beliefs and change as well but um and it's hard for them to express their emotions at times um I'm not saying all Geminis or all Pisces are this way, but from my experience, Geminis do have a hard time expressing emotions and um, they, are, they are all about their friends. They are about family too, but they're really big on friendship because that's the sign of friendship besides a Leo. Um, Geminis are all about their friends a lot too. And that's why I say that they're a good combination because of the friendship. But Geminis can be a little, like a little flirtatious and they can have some rough relationships because of that. Um, just some Gemini men that I've seen, not all, but they can be um, a little bit. And so can a Pisces. A Pisces can too, but a Pisces doesn't realize they're doing it. They're just being nice. And maybe that's what a Gemini too, who knows? Um, you Geminis out there, you can tell me about your... Um, flirtatious ways or are you just being too nice but um as i said it's a it's a really good combination for friendship i think the relationship can work if they can understand each other and that's why i do these videos and that's why a lot of um youtubers do astrology so you can understand every sign and see if you can mesh it with your sign and then you can check your birth chart because you do need to check your birth chart. You always need to check your birth chart because you have other things in your birth chart. Like um, me, I have Pisces sun. I have a uh, Sagittarius moon and I have Pisces rising. And um, I just found out that I'm Aquarius cusp. Um, 
uh, Pisces. Well, Aquarius comes with Pisces. So I'm learning that too. So you have to really get in your birth chart to see if you're compatible with anybody. But like I said, you have to um, understand the signs and see if it meshes well with your personality and see their personality and see if it meshes well and if you can work through it. But I think a Pisces and Gemini compatibility can work well. Um, it's just a lot of understanding and a lot of patience for both signs um and like i said they have like the greatest friendship and they can talk about anything in the arts because gemini's are just as creative as well and gemini's are just as as loyal in friendship as a pisces and um it can work it can work for marriage as well so um but like I said, they have to like understand each other because like I said, a Pisces woman can be sensitive and air signs don't show their emotions as much as water signs. So that's kind of the, the hard part is that. But other than that, um, it could be a good relationship. Just both signs need to just watch her being too nice and too flirty so they don't get the other one angry and... Um, <laughs> And just be friendly, but know how to cut when it's the opposite sex so the other one doesn't get jealous. But like I said, both signs can really, really learn from each other and really do well as um, a team as well. And they can do well as a team um, in, in work, in work. I would say that working with them, um, if it's creative arts, if it's music, anything like that, I think it's a great work. Um, relationship as well but yes um, that is my take on Pisces woman and Gemini man please like share and subscribe to my channel so you can see the latest uh, videos that I post and I'll see you later